Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and welcome to another NR 2003 tutorial on NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Today we're going over N ratings. We're going to go over how to download it for free and how to use it and what does it do. It allows you to change the ratings on all the AI drivers in the game with literally clicks of the button instead of no more uh, spending time pushing the arrows and waiting and all that good stuff so let's get into it first thing you're going to want to do is click the first link in the description of this video it will bring you here to the end ratings for enter 2003 up here on the top right you're going to have to uh, um, register an account and once you're registered you can log in up here on the top right once you are logged in this blue uh, download will be here you want to click download once it is downloaded you'll have a setup on your downloads Click the setup and set it up. It's gonna, your computer is gonna be scared of it. Don't worry, it, will, it does not have a virus. Push more info and run anyway. And once it is ran, it will open up. So once it is open, it you shouldn't have this here unless it automatically did. It's gonna make you go to options, sign in, and pick your uh, NR2003, which go by clicking that. Go to this PC or wherever you have it downloaded. I'm assuming everybody has it on their C drive because that's where I got mine. That's the regular drive that computers have. So, and then Papyrus, and then click that right there and push OK, but I'm not gonna do that, I already have it. All right, then you'll push OK. Do not exit out of that like I did, push OK and save it. All right, now you have everything. You're signed in and you have it on. Now you choose the mod that you want to change. These are all the mods that you have in the game right now. I want to change the NASCAR Cup Series. So for the NASCAR Cup Series, I click that. And if you had like thousands of cars and you don't want them all to load, then and you had separate rosters, you can pick a different roster like the Daytona list or something. All right, once you got your roster, you can click on different people. You can change their names if you want to, like Quinn Hoof, I could type in a different name like Jeff or whatever. And apparently you don't even need a name. And Hoof, I can change if I want to, or last names or whatever by double clicking it and then typing. All right, you got all their stats on the right side. This is a lot easier than using the sliders. If I want his aggression to be zero, I click zero. And if I want his max aggression to be zero, I click zero. So you got the same exact ratings you got in game, all in the same area. You got their minimum and their maximum. I already have a tutorial that you guys can go watch on what all the ratings do. So hopefully that will help you out. That should be on a card and a link in the description also. And I have a playlist full of tutorials, but anyway, now that we're through that, let's say you want to do multiple cars at a time. Let's say you want to do Kurt Busch and Ryan Newman and Kevin Harvick. You'll select them by clicking them. Let's say even Kyle Busch. So now you got a couple cars selected with the check marks. You can go to bulk modify ratings. Yes. And you can change them by going here. So let's say you want to change all of their consistency and finishing. You will just check those. These are all their different ratings. You check which ones you want to change. Then min, max, or both, which ones do you want to change? If you want to change both, you do both. If you want to do their min or max, you do that. Let's say both. So then you select which car. So first, it's only going to select the car that you actually have selected, which right now is Cal Bush. And you push selected for selected or all if you want to do every single car in that roster that you have selected. But let's do selected. And you can do a random number. You can pick which numbers you want to random between uh, 0 and 100. So I don't know, like 60 to 80. If you push apply, then it will change the finishing and consistency like we picked. You can also add a value. So if you want to add a number, you push whatever number, 10. Let's say 10 to both. That's going to make all their stats go up by 10. Same thing if you put minus 10, it will make them all go negative 10. Multiply by value, I don't use, but I don't know if you knew a bunch of math or something and you want to multiply something by 2, you can do that. Or if you wanted to be specific and go 1.0 whatever random numbers, if you like did some kind of math, you can do that. Or you can set to value. So let's say we want their finishing and everything to be 100%. We can go to 100 and click apply. I'm not going to do that though, whatever. So now that we have changed people, they're going to come up blue. All right, blue means that they are not saved yet, but they are changed. Now you can go click 
save modified cars yes and now they are all saved with their new stats all right so now that that is done well let's see what if you want to have realistic stats hmm import ratings from real life data this is why you needed to sign in because now let's say we want the actual daytona 500 for this year i click the year 2020 i click the sprint cup series and i click the daytona 500 all right then i go down here the best one to use for the cup series is the mass graphics set it as default mass graphics formula uh, if you wanted to select multiple races to go over or the entire season, you could push select all. I don't. I just want Daytona 500. All right. So now that we did that, we can also take a look at the variable inspector, which will tell you who who had the average, what their average finish was, all their stats, because this is what it's going to use, and it's going to do some kind of formula into it. All right. Then you can preview what ratings are going to be. So. This is going to change, obviously, Denny Hamlin won, so he should have the highest ratings. His finishing is 99, it looks like, 89 to 99. And it's based on where they finished. Then you got the qualifier rating based on where they qualified. And it's going to change their uh, track based on, uh, since it's only a super speedway race, it's not, these are all the default down here. But anyway, it will change their super speedway stats, which this will make the biggest difference probably. And yeah, it will change everything. Then when you do that, you push apply. I don't use this and I don't use that. So push apply and boom, it changed everybody. Well, what if it didn't map anybody? So it's gonna map everybody that it changed. Well, since I took Quinn's name off, uh, it didn't map him. So I can click map. Go to his name, Quinn Huff, and boom, now it changed his stats. Okay? Uh, same thing for Matt Kenseth. I don't know why it didn't do Kenseth. It should have. Oh, he he wasn't in the Daytona 500. Uh, Bubba Wallace. And Chad Fincham didn't make it either. And all these other cars were not in the Daytona 500. I forgot Daniel Suarez didn't make it. That's embarrassing. All right, so... Now we got all of those guys. You can give them somebody else's stats, though. I mean, you don't have to make them their stats. Let's say you wanted Alex Bowman to have, I don't know, Michael McDowell stats. You can do that. So you can change it up. You can name other drivers. If you wanted, like, fantasy drivers, I don't know, if you wanted somebody else's name, like, I don't know, Jimmy Smith or something. So let's say you wanted Jimmy Smith, some fantasy driver, and you wanted him to be just like Michael McDowell. You can do that and and map him to Michael McDowell with those stats that we have selected from the import and it will now change him to Michael McDowell stats after you are done you save modified cars once it is saved you can't go back well you can go back but you can't go there's no undo button you have to do it all manually so be careful so now that it's saved it will turn everybody that you have changed to green that means they have new stats and once that is done, that is everything. You can also create a roster on here. I forgot about that based on cars that you selected. So let's say you want only the cars that were in the Daytona 500. You select all the green ones, create that, call it Daytona 500. Boom. And now we have a roster named Daytona 500. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's not showing up here, but it, it should. Let's see. There it is. And now only the cars that you have changed for the Daytona 500 one are there. So uh, now you're done. You and now that you've changed all the stats, you can exit out and go into the game and play it because their ratings will be what they are now. And if this video did help you out, please click the like button. Because I helped you out, you should help me out. Subscribe if you are new and you want more tutorials on NASCAR Racing 2003 season. And turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a video. Comment any suggestions for future tutorials or anything that you need help on on NR2003. And I'll see you guys next time.